Hi guys, this is Mikhail from Prague ICU. Today we will show you how to perform standard imaging views in coronary angiography and we will help with recognizing the anatomy of the coronary arterial tree. The left coronary artery is typically imaged in 5 to 7 angiography views. Prague ICU recommends the following ones. Left anterior oblique 45 degrees, caudal 25 degrees view, so called the spider view, is often the first view taken during diagnostic coronary angiography. It has the advantage of visualizing the proximal left anterior descending artery and left circumflex artery along with the distal part of the left main coronary artery. The view is not good for visualizing the distal parts of the left system and foreshortens the coronary branches. Yet this view is useful during coronary angioplasty to check whether a stent placed in the proximal ALD is impinging on the left main or likely to pinch the ostium of the left circumflex. AP 0 degrees caudal 30 degrees view is best for visualizing proximal circumflex and circumflex obtuse marginal bifurcations. Circumflex is usually tiny. All branches go to the right side of the image, towards LAD. Circumflex heads always towards the coronary sinus, arrow. Right anterior oblique, 40 degrees, caudal, 30 degrees view, is suitable for visualization of proximal LAD and the proximal to mid circumflex with its branches. In this view, the first margin branch can mimic the intermediate branch, but the spider view clearly demonstrates that this branch is arising from the left circumflex. Right anterior oblique 45 degrees, cranial 25 degrees view is best for visualizing the LAD and septal branches. In this view, we plan which septal branch is suitable for the alcohol septal ablation. AP 0 degrees, cranial 30 degrees view is best for visualizing distal part of left main and ostium of LAD. LAD goes in major cases in parallel to the spine. Diagonal branches go to the direction of obtuse marginal branches. Left anterior oblique 45 degrees, cranial 25 degrees view is best for visualizing ostium of left main and then mid and distal LAD with originals of diagonal branches which are on the same side as the obtuse marginal branches. Septal perforators are seen to the opposite side. Lateral left anterior oblique 90 degrees view shows the mid LAD and the circumflex artery. Especially surgeons like this view for possible visualization of intramyocardial course of LAD. The right coronary artery is typically imaged in two up to four angiography views. Prague ICU recommends the following ones. Left anterior oblique 45 degrees view usually shows the full length of the right coronary artery in a C shape. You can see the ostium of the right coronary artery and its proximal, mid and distal parts. Lateral left anterior oblique 90 degrees view is the perfect view for osteal lesions and the mid parts of RCA. AP 0 degrees cranial 15 degrees view is best for visualizing distal RCA bifurcation and the proximal segments of posterior descending artery and posterior lateral branches. PDA directs to apex. Arrow. Left anterior oblique 30 degrees cranial 20 degrees view is similar to AP cranial view but the distal bifurcation may be seen more clearly. And this is all for now. Thank you for watching Prague ICU 
and stay tuned for next educational videos.